I have started with cosmic rays, and then I switched to nuclear astrophysics. And I was working uh, for a while in nuclear astrophysics and was quite successful with gamma ray line detections and analysis and uh, discovering new objects which were unknown in our galaxy. And now I'm trying to do something even more new, to study very new, not so long ago born universe. My specialization was uh, uh, nuclear, astro uh, nuclear physics, nuclear physics. And uh, uh, this gave me strong background in understanding the physical processes which are governing quite a few things in this world, uh, starting from the kitchen utensils and, and finishing with accelerator, for example, maybe, or, or computers. I have had uh, quite a few new things for me, especially about properties of uh, host galaxies of gamma ray bursts of uh, properties of afterglow and the uh, new discoveries which were quite recently made by the group of people from the, uh, Germany, Italy and uh, some other countries, uh, Netherlands for example. Well, I believe the next workshop uh, which maybe uh, will come in the next year, uh, how we can make a progress in understanding questions which were already open at this workshop. For example, uh, why we do not see so many gamma ray bursts at, from the high redshift universe? Expectations were high at the time when the uh, SWIFT was launched. But unfortunately, since the number now going down, decreasing from 50% of all bursts happening at the redshift above five, now it is less or about 5%, so order of magnitude below of our earlier expectations. And it's a little bit disappointing. I am not believing these numbers, so it's better verified by making new measurements with better instrumentation.